what if I told you that there was a resource that could be the difference between a penny and a billion dollars? This resource is more valuable than money or any commodity in the world. It is more valuable than oil, gold, silver, or anything that you can think of. And on top of that, not everyone has equal access to a lot of money or oil, but everyone has access to this resource that I'm thinking of. It is at everyone's disposal. It does not matter what age, race, or gender you are. What if I also told you that effectively learning to manage this resource will hands down be the greatest thing that you've ever learned in your life? I shall reveal what this precious resource is, time. Whether you like it or not, time affects every single aspect of your life. That's why when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you look at is a clock. How are you going to watch your favorite TV show when it comes on if you don't know what time they show it? How are you going to recommend it to a friend, a family member, or a coworker if you don't know what time they show it? And the thing is, I can make time related to every single situation because it is that important. Over here... We have person A, he's living off of welfare, he's receiving government assistance, he's struggling. Over here, we have person B, he's a billionaire. Charities love him because he's always donating and his kids love him because he can spend so much time with them. All of his bills are paid and his life is running smoothly. Some of you may be thinking that the biggest difference between person A and person B is wealth or money, but I don't see it that way, and neither should you. The biggest difference between person A and person B is time management. Person A spent his life looking for a quick fix and quick pleasure. He spent his life entertaining himself. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with enjoying yourself, but eventually the money will run out and the curtains will close. Then what? Then what will you do? Person B also liked to enjoy himself, but he realized that he had to dedicate some of his time towards putting structures in place that he could eventually succeed off of. Person B realized that he needed to dedicate some of his time to sharpening his craft, and now he's being rewarded because of it. Now I shall tell you how time affected my life. Starting out, I didn't realize the value of time. I thought that I had too much of it on my hands So I would watch YouTube videos, Netflix, sports, just to get me by. I would sit on the phone and talk to them for hours about nothing to get me through the day. And that process would have continued had it not hit me one day. I had a headache and I was laying on the couch. As I was watching TV not feeling well, this phrase just popped into my head out of nowhere. Wow, I really let myself go. And I didn't know how to take that because I had never taken a step outside of myself to assess my life like that before. But I started to notice a pattern. Every single day had consisted of the same things. Get up, eat, watch TV, eat, go on the internet, take a nap, and it would just continue. Then I started to look at myself in the mirror and realize that I gained a lot of weight. I became a shell of myself. 
there is no worse feeling than looking in the mirror and seeing that you don't look the same as you used to. And that turned me into a very cynical person. I would find any way that I could to put someone else down, especially somebody who was enjoying themselves. And that cycle in itself would have continued had I not realized that no matter how much negative energy I put out into the world, it won't change my struggle and what I'm going through. And so I was presented with a choice. I could either let the negativity continue or I could make a change. I decided to implement a simple schedule and a workout routine. The biggest takeaway from the workout routine wasn't the results. And oh, I saw a lot of results. The biggest takeaway was that I learned something about myself that I had never thought about before. And that was that I love myself. When you dedicate time to something that you are passionate about, it is an out of body experience that you cannot find in other aspects of life. When you dedicate your time to a goal and you achieve it, it changes how you view life. It made me realize my self-worth and my inherent value. Time management is especially important for aspiring teenagers. Abraham Lincoln once said, give me six hours to chop down a tree and I will spend the first four sharpening the ax. And what that means is that timeliness is paramount. We as teenagers are staring at two extremes right in the face. The wealthy and successful and the poor and struggling. And that can be very daunting since we have the potential to become either of those things but it can also be very exciting. And research further cements my point. According to a study done on teen achievement by Brown University, teens who practice good time management experience success in other areas of their life, such as sports, social life, and work. It also reported that teens who practice good time management had less stress. So the next time you feel that you are pressed for time and the weight of the world is on your shoulders, think about my story. Implement a simple schedule. It will work wonders in your life. Thank you.